2025 Mathematics Performance Task Prep. Hi Prep Stars, welcome back to the channel. Here's our first performance task prep for 2025. And we're looking at our performance task. The title of the task is Getting Fit. Let's go ahead and read the instructions. Expert Fitness is a membership gym. Carl wants to join the gym and is considering signing up to Expert Fitness. Expert Fitness offers three membership options. Pay as you go. Regular deal and all in one price. For the pay as you go, you pay $600 each time you work out. And for the regular deal, you pay $5,000 per month and $200 sorry, $200 each time you work out. And the all in one price, you pay $10,000 per month for unlimited use of the facilities. Carl needs your help to choose which gym to join. Determine that based on the visit to which gym to use and the least expensive plan and to also design an annual payment system for expert fitness gym. Part one, expert fitness gym. Question one, Carl thinks he will go to expert fitness gym about 20 times a month. Which of the membership option is the least expensive for Carl? So we're looking at the three options. The Pay as you go is 600. The regular deal is 5,000. Let's write those things down. So pay as you go. That is for $600 every time that you go. On each visit. And then for the regular, Regular, you're paying $5,000 and then $200 each time you go. And then for the all in one, let's look back at you pay $10,000 per month. Ten thousand for the month. All right. So, if he wants to go twenty times per month for the pay as you go, it would be six hundred times twenty, and for the regular. He would pay the five thousand plus the two hundred dollars times twenty. All right, let's work out the pay as you go. So six hundred dollars times twenty. That's twelve thousand and two hundred times twenty is four thousand Plus, we have to add our 5,000 initially for the gym membership. So 
So that's 9,000. And that we see that the all in one now is 10,000. So based on what we have calculated, can you see the option that would be the best one for Carl? So the regular deal would be the best one for Carl. Are we seeing that? Because the regular deal costs 9,000 and that's the best option. So we can write that as our concluding statement to say the regular deal deal would be best for Karen. So that's our answer for question one. Let's move on to question two. How many visits each month would make the regular and the all-in-one price the same? <laughs> So again, we know that the all-in-one is 10,000. And then we know that for the regular, we have to pay that initial 5,000 regular price. We know we have to pay 5,000 plus $200 per visit. So when we think about it now, how many visits would we need to make to get to And additional amount that would make the regular price the same as the all-in-one price. So, before we work this part out with the 200, what we'll do is just subtract the all-in-one price from the regular price from the initial cost for the regular price, which is the 5000 to see what balance would be remaining. And that's an, uh, that's five thousand dollars. So we need to find how many visits now that it will take to give us that five thousand dollars. So we can divide the five thousand dollars by the two hundred. And when we divide 5,000 by 200, we get 25. And we can always check back our answer because if we multiply 25 here by the 200, it should give us back 5,000. So it should give us back 5,000. And we add the initial 5,000 and that would get us to 10,000. So therefore, Carl needs to make 25 visits to the gym for it to be the same as the all-in-one price. Let's write that concluding statement. And that symbol is for therefore, Carl would need to make... 25 visits to the gym for the all all in one price to be the same
as the regular price. I hope you're all following. All right, in our next video, we're going to look at part two of this performance task. And I hope that you're understanding how I would have worked through all the answers thus far. And if you see how I do my working out, this is exactly what you should pattern. Because when you do it like this, it shows clearly that you understand what you're doing. And when you also add the concluding statement, it also shows that you didn't find the answer by chance, but you worked it out and you're quite sure what the answer is. And that's why you can tie up all the working out with a explaining sentence or a concluding sentence, right? So when someone looks at your answer like this, they don't have a doubt in their mind that you know what you're doing, right? And that's exactly what we want the markers of your exam to feel right so again stay tuned i'm gonna be going through numerous practice with you and then we have part two of this math video math performance task in our next video until next time pep stars share with others and continue to practice i wish you all the best on your upcoming examination and for us to be that way, we have to continuously practice. So I'll see you in our next video. Thank you.